Could Hillary Clinton lose Iowa again? It happened in 2008. She came in third, you might remember. And now, with weeks to go before the first votes, and despite her campaign's best efforts, Senator Bernie Sanders is closing the gap with Clinton in Iowa, and he's still leading her in New Hampshire. CNN senior political correspondent Brianna Keeler is covering Bernie Sanders in Pleasantville, Iowa. Brianna, you interviewed Sanders today. How does he explain his rise there? Well, Jake, and pardon me for being a little quiet, we are in the middle of a Bernie Sanders event here in Pleasantville, Iowa. But basically what he said is everyone knows Hillary Clinton and that they have, voters have had to get to know him. And he said that as they get to know him and what he's about when it comes to policies, that they choose to be with him instead of Hillary Clinton. But I'm also told by sources close to the Clinton campaign that they're very confident when it comes to their ground game and they think that they'll be able to pull this out in Iowa and also in New Hampshire, obviously. Obviously, the primary uh, will be the key test there. But talking to Bernie Sanders today, he was almost gleeful about the race tightening in the polls. Clearly, they began this race believing that their victory was virtually inevitable. I don't think they believe that today. All right. A new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll puts Bernie Sanders within striking distance, just three points shy of Hillary Clinton in Iowa, within the margin of error. And you feel that is a real three points that you're that close? Yeah, I do. Sanders, meanwhile, is holding on to a narrow lead in New Hampshire. Clinton fundraising off the tight race, emailing supporters in the Granite State. It's going to be close, but I'm ready to do this. Part of her closing pitch to Democratic voters, she is more electable than Sanders. Think hard about the people who are presenting themselves to you, their experience, their qualifications, their positions. And particularly for those of us who are Democrats, their electability. But as polls show Sanders outperforming Clinton in general election matchups against Donald Trump and Ted Cruz, he's trying to counter her argument. The recent ones in New Hampshire and Iowa, face to face with Donald Trump and the other Republican candidates, we end up doing a lot better than Hillary Clinton does. So I think in terms of electability in the general election, I think Democrats might want to look at Bernie Sanders as the candidate. But Sanders' moderate stance on gun laws has left him vulnerable in these final weeks before the early contests, after President Obama in a New York Times op-ed said, I will not campaign for, vote for, or support any candidate, even in my own party, who does not support common sense gun reform. Now Clinton is hitting Sanders' record, including a 2005 vote that gave gun manufacturers and gun store owners immunity from prosecution if guns they sold were used in a crime. I think that the uh, excuses and uh, efforts by Senator Sanders to avoid responsibility uh, for this vote, which the NRA hailed as the most important in 20 years, points up a clear difference. Facing pressure, Sanders has since signaled he is open to changing his position. What President Obama is saying is that these are very important issues for him, and I agree with him. I've cast 10,000 votes in my life, and there was a vote that I cast, which was a complicated vote. Yes, there were onerous spots to that. I certainly am willing to reconsider it. It's a response welcomed by the White House, which seemed to acknowledge that the president's threat was at least partly aimed at Sanders. We've seen some movement on this since uh, the op-ed appeared on Thursday. We think that's good. It's interesting, Jake. Um, Sanders actually dismissed the idea that President Obama was putting a finger on the scale on this issue for Hillary Clinton. He said, no, this is just an issue that he cares a lot about. Certainly the Clinton campaign is using this moment, though, for what they see is the major vulnerability for Bernie Sanders, his position on guns with this uh, Democratic primary electorate. The question, uh, I, uh, this was interesting, he did question Hillary Clinton's authenticity on the issue, as we've heard him do. He talked about how in 2000, she thought that then Senator Obama was too strong on gun control, and he's sort of reviving that moniker that Senator Obama used uh, to describe Hillary Clinton, Annie Oakley. We heard him say that again, Jake. Right, and, and uh, Brianna, Hillary Clinton now having to respond to questions about an email she sent when she was Secretary of State, one that was released uh, Friday, I believe. The Republican chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee says that the email, quote, appears to show Clinton instructing a subordinate to remove the headings from a classified document and send it to her in an unsecure manner. What's Clinton saying? 
Clinton is denying uh, that that is what happened. She said that this was somewhat common practice, and she said no classified information was transmitted. But this was an email uh, back uh, in 2011 that she sent to one of her top aides, Jake Sullivan, advising him because there was a problem with the secure fax line, and she was trying to get some talking points uh, to remove the header and that identifying information. Uh, but again, she's downplaying that anything happened. And the other uh, thing that's difficult here, Jake, is that a lot of this email is redacted, so it's missing some context, and it's hard to really get to the bottom of it. But you see Hillary Clinton's problem. She's had to migrate from saying that there was no classified email sent from her server to there was nothing that was classified at the time that it was sent, and she deals with this constantly as new emails are released.